Let's move on to a topic that is near and dear to Chris's heart. Because I know he had fun with this one on Saturday. The New York Yankees apparently got a letter that is sealed that a judge said needed to be unsealed. And all the rumors are that this letter says that they were caught cheating. They were caught sign stealing back in 2017, which was the same oh, season. 15 and 16 and oh, 17. Oh, it was uh, three years? Oh, I didn't they even read that They got the part. letter in the 2017. Okay. It was, over, you, it was over 2015 and 16. You go ahead and, and fill me in on the details here. There's not, there, there, we don't have any details. That's it. Because that's what it is. What the letter says. But let me tell you something. There it is. <laughs> this is why, this is why I don't understand how players, when the Astros got caught, fans can be all upset as you want. But if you think the Astros are one of 30 teams and they're the only ones doing this, and they've had free agents and trade players leave their organization over the last five or six years and go to other teams. They've had coaches and managers leave their organization and go to other teams. And that means these they're just not taking these tricks. They're not telling other teams how this is happening. No, we don't get word of this because – all 30 teams are doing something like this. If you say, well, but what the Astros are doing are so over the top. It's a, that's only because you now know the details of what's over the top. Yeah. So when I see Aaron Judge look into the camera, look tear coming down his eye, oh, oh, a, a, a Ron over here, telling the world, oh, I just, I just feel like my MVP was stolen from me. Listen. This bastard is a guy that went from <laughs> being so bad at his job, he would not get out of his hotel and get a house or an apartment because he didn't think he would make the team to hmm, 2015, 2016, one of the best hitters in baseball. I wonder what happened. I wonder what switch just flipped to where he led the world in strikeouts. This guy was going to be worse than Adam Dunn as just the big donkey of 350 strikeouts and 30 home runs, okay? That was what he was looking at for the rest of his life and hoping that he could maintain the job. And now, now we find out, oh, maybe those seasons, he was getting pitch tips, and he had the audacity to call out. Listen, you can be mad at the Astros as fans. That's fine. If you're a player and you know your team was doing some sort of sign stealing, I'd be real careful to throw rocks, okay? I'd just be real careful. This is called karma, and this is what you get. You get your comeuppance. And if Manfred tried to cover this up, this is a gots-to-go situation. I want his ass hurled out a window. I agree. Uh, to, to go out, uh, let's see, Tyrone said Yankee Spankies. The Brown Yeti said they're the ones that got caught. William said, Ben, they would be good, but Kleiman is already at K-State. He is the GOAT. Um, I didn't even see Ben comment. Oh, Ben said uh, North Dakota State to the Big Ten. Sorry. Um, let's see. Michael said, hi, you ain't cheating if you ain't trying. Believe that. Or you ain't trying if you ain't cheating. The, listen, uh, I am not opposed to the sign stealing. I am very much opposed to everybody getting their feelings hurt when they heard the Astros were doing this. And I thought, man, teams have been stealing signs forever well so yeah. now they're using technology to do it and that shocks you are you kidding me and you're offended by it and you're upset by it come on michael said uh baseball's a bunch of snobs they turn an eye on cheating as long as it benefits them let bonds in the hall um now we're never going to find this out because this team hasn't been good enough to make a damn okay but i want somebody to find the astro or not the astro the the, the a's too because the two bleeding heart hitters the two bleeding hard hitters were Mike Trout and Aaron Judge come out. Why? They just cheated the game. I just, I just feel so violated playing against them and losing all the time when they beat me. Get over it, boys. Well, you had. I knew you were going to jump in on that one. I love it. It's just I such it. baby. I, I know. Listen, you got the balls. I mean, you've got at least the NFL had the had this the this the the brains to say Roger Goodell goes to to the owner of the Steelers and says, 
I've got this, the, the Patriots videotaping a practice of yours in my investigation. What should I do? Art Rooney looks at him. Art Rooney Jr. looks at him and says, burn the tapes. Because if you deep dive down deep, you're going to find we got tapes on their asses too. Everybody got it. Everybody's and doing up, it. And he calls his buddy at the Baltimore Ravens and says, I got them with videotapes of you. Both owners said the exact same thing to Roger Goodell. Burn the tapes. All 32 teams are recording one another. Put a blanket statement out that says you can't do this anymore, but stop this investigation right yes. now or you're going to ruin the sport. You know what Roger Goodell did? He burned the video footage. Yes. Nobody ever was able to see what he saw because the Patriots knew if you expose us, we are going to expose all 31 other teams, and now your league is in trouble. Do you not On think fire. that the same coaches, the same coaches that work for the Patriots and left the Patriots to work at all these other organizations didn't know what was happening and they just allowed it? No. They knew one of the reasons they got the job was because, oh, you're better than our fan, our, our camera crew guy. So we're gonna let you <laughs> run it. Like that's just this is just part of it. Now, and then it stopped. So baseball said stop, and now it stopped. But all these teams that came out bleeding hard, just so sad and so, oh, my gosh, I feel so cheated. I feel so violated. Please give me a break. Aaron Judge, oh, oh, find a bus, buddy. Find a bus and walk in front of it, my friend. (laughs) Damien said, uh, damn it, when are the Patriots going to be investigated for cheating to get all them Super Bowls? You already tackled that. He's just trying to pick fights with you. I see what's going on. That's uh, right. Ben said the A's aren't doing this. The Coliseum doesn't have any technology for that. There's still troughs in the bathrooms. Hey, yeah. But that's why the A's are the one team that dimed them out, by the way. Yeah. Is because, yeah, you're right. I don't know that there's a camera anywhere in Oakland's. No, it's not. <laughs> to, to do this. Uh, William said baseball cheating doesn't offend me very much. Uh us either, because everybody does it. Like it's, it's, it. It's just a historical thing. Yeah. It, you can't follow the history of baseball and it's, not follow it's the It's the cheating. integrity like it's, of the game. It's the, yeah. I, Tyrone said, I would do it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I me too. Uh, Damien said, wait, didn't the Red Sox get caught cheating a few weeks after the Astros got caught cheating? Yeah, but the Red Sox didn't win a title that year. We, like, it was we a did, bigger. We did, but here's, here's the thing. The, like, what they found was, and they never really released the details. They just said the Red Sox. We're trying to do some sort of sign stealing, but it was way different than what the Astros did, and they downplayed it. Listen, it might have been way worse than the Astros, and finally Manfred just realized, I got to quit doing this shit because all 30 teams are doing it. All these it. teams are going to get in trouble, yeah. And so I'm going to crush the Astros, and then I'm gonna, which sucks because the Astros manager definitely didn't deserve to be fired. No, agreed. I'll Agreed. tell you this, if I needed a manager right now, I'd hire that guy. I'd hire that guy right now. I will say this. They they got the worst punishment of anybody because they had to go hire Dusty. I'm just, oh, God, you're right. I'm you're right. Saying. Oh, no, yeah. Well, I'll tell you this. The Red Sox, I was, I was upset that we were starting spring training back in February, and they still hadn't named a manager, and I even sent them a couple of emails saying I'd be willing to do it. Um, <laughs> And uh, it gets because I, I don't know how we started spring training without a manager. That's weird. Uh, and then they named an interim manager. And I was like, what are we doing? Like, you're you're a world class organization. How are you not having? A, I'm going to tell you what they're doing. They're going to let Alex Cora serve his one year suspension, and then that interim is going to move right back over, and Cora is going to take that spot. And I'm actually yep. very much okay with this. This is what I think college sports should do all the time. I told Ole Miss this forever, forever. Hugh Freeze gets two-year bans, what I thought he was going to get. I thought he was going to get crushed. He got nothing. Yep. But I'd have, I'd, have, I'd have sat his ass on the bench. I'd have paid him for two years. I'd have hired an interim to come in and then or would have promoted somebody up. And then when his sentence is over, brought him back. Right back Tennessee on the bench. with Bruce Pearl said the exact same thing. Oh, they're going to make you suspend it? Then suspend him. Yeah. And then pay him. And then when he's done, bring him back. Because finding good coaches is just too damn hard. Yes, it is. Uh, Will Gomez said, I just want to know how many cell phone burners Tom Brady has. Uh, I mean, I would imagine it's got to be a few, but it doesn't matter. I mean, he just destroys them before they can get to it anyway. Uh, the Brown Yeti said, you can cheat, but don't get caught because you're going to go under the bus. Uh, Brown Yeti said, uh, everyone's doing it, but you messed it up for everyone. And then Damian Estrada said, Red Sox need David Ortiz as manager. 
Oh. You agree with that? Oh. You think he'd be a good manager? No, no, he probably wouldn't. But here's who I wanted them to hire as manager. I now, I now fully believe that they're just going to let Cora come back, which is what I, what I'm, I'm happy with. Um, I really, there was the one of the person people that they interviewed was, uh, was, was a uh, Jason Veritek, and I would love to see VTech back in that uniform. Yeah. So I, I listen. I don't know if he'd be a good manager or not. He knows Boston. He knows that team. And, 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 you know, he was a hell of a catcher. And catchers just historically make really good managers. I'm good with this. Uh, Wild Bill jumps in on YouTube. He said, how about them Cowboys? Hey, is there anybody in the – and we're not talking about this today so much, but is there anybody in the world that you expected to get coronavirus less than Ezekiel Elliott? I mean – as much as that guy goes out, I thought I thought he would get something that needed penicillin <laughs> more than than hydrochloroquine or whatever the hell they're giving them for that. Bill uh, wanted me to toss over to you a hook 'em horns, so <laughs> just had to throw it out to you. Uh, no, that's fine. He's he's been around for a little while. If he knows about that one, you and the Texas fan base don't get along real well. <laughs> That's okay. That's uh, right. William, yeah, we get along fine now after we beat their ass. That was okay. <laughs> they they all kind of stopped and I stopped. There you go. Because I don't believe in punching down. Well, hell, they'll be coming back for uh, September, so we'll uh, we'll go. Um, William Brown said, "I'll co-sign on Veritech managing, hundred yeah. percent." Let's oh. uh, let's move on. To- 